Hi, Agile community. My name is uh, Faris Saracic, and I'm uh, one of the founders of Bosnian Agile. I have a pleasure today to talk with uh, Eric Schumann from uh, Selegi Technology. He's a Lean Agile coach and also Chief Technical Officer at uh, Selegi. We have prepared a series of questions uh, for Eric, and, and we're going to see what Eric has uh, to say about Agile, State of Agile, as well, how does he like Sarajevo? So Eric, what is the Scale Agile framework and uh, how companies can benefit from it? Oh, and that's a tough question. A scale Agile framework is a collection of best practices for extending the reach of the Agile benefits from the teams, from the development teams, towards the whole organization, even up to the portfolio management. It is, as it says, a framework that means it's uh, by intention not prescriptive, but it's very easily to very easy to understand and abuse it in that way, unfortunately. But uh, it is meant to be tailored according to your needs, to the needs of the company that applies it, to help them getting more agile as a company, using agile and lean principles for all levels of the organization. Okay. How large company must be? so that SAFE can be implemented successfully? There is the advantage of it being a framework. Um, we are a small company, 13 people, and we are using some aspects of it. I wouldn't say that we are SAFE, but we have taken inspiration in it, from it, and we are using parts of it. I have seen companies of uh, 40, 50 people who are, benefit, uh, who are really getting benefits from it, specifically if they're having distributed organizations, distributed teams, SAFE can have quite some good ideas in there. Yeah. And I think uh, that's the beauty of the framework. It's, it's a framework and you adopt what you see if it the best to your organization. So yeah, I completely agree. In larger organizations or verticals, how do you know which information is critical and which not? And to whom? Again, a good question, and my favorite answer would be, it depends, but I don't think you would like to hear that. There are, of course, some information parts that are more important than others. The important thing is that you need to identify what information is the key planning item in your organization, be it that you have some business requirements on which you do your budgeting, uh, on which you decide how to fund your, your different projects, then that is probably a top level uh, information element you need to break down. Uh, be it that you are doing your detail planning on a story level, then probably stories are also an important element, and then the uh, the information connecting those two. If you are not using Scrum and you're using some, some other kind of planning items on the bottom level, that's your key element. Requirements can be it, features, um, it really depends on how does your workflow look, uh, look like and how is work broken down because that's where we have usually see a disconnect at our clients that they have a, an internal way of working that has a breakdown structure but it is never expressed and it's not followed up and that makes um, planning in an agile world very difficult. So you need to connect the planning on the different levels. Yeah, that's, that's a very good answer. So what is the hardest part of maintaining communication consistency? That's one of the pillars in Agile, to keep the teams informed and keep the, either it's a vision, either it's goal, either what you're working currently on a sprint itself. Mm -hmm. One of the key elements is transparency. Uh, so that information is not only consistent, but that it is visible. I have seen Agile teams that are forced to do prioritization in their sprint planning meetings. So they have actually to, together with their local product owner, um, pick and prioritize what they should be doing next. But at the same time, they lack transparency upwards, so they don't really understand what business vision and what business need from the customer these stories are connected to. So how should they be doing good and consistent planning? That's impossible. So you need to have a consistent view there. On the other side, I see product owners who are um, who assume that they need to do a roadmap, which they have to communicate to the customers, but on the other side, they don't have an insight into the technical planning that the development teams are doing in their scrum planning. And there is a disconnect in between, which leads to the fact that the product, o product manager assumes that his roadmap is true, 
But in reality, things are coming at different points in time, which are not necessarily connected to the roadmap. And that's where the problem starts. Okay, great. Um, agile in one sentence. If you describe me, what's agile for you in one sentence? In one sentence, I would say agile is a way to enable teams across all parts of the company to adapt to change and deliver to the best of their effort. Good answer. So now, now I'm coming to a most difficult question. So what do you like more, Chevap Chichi, Burek, and how do you like Sarajevo? I love Burek, uh, especially the, uh, the Spanish version. That's uh, really hitting my tooth there. Uh, Sarajevo looks great, what I have seen until now. I have actually taken a day off tomorrow uh, to really enjoy the city and experience it. Okay. Uh, Eric, thank you for coming to Bosnia and Agile. Uh, we're looking forward to have you again in Bosnia and uh, having a great relationship with you. Thank you.